got Chase on the line from Armored Earth. Now, I'm glad to hear you guys are alive and well. We've got the new EP, Empire, coming out really soon. I've got all these questions about tours and launches, but how are you How are you coping with everything, man? Yeah, good, good. Um, we are, we're all bunkered down like everyone else, but, um, you know, it's pretty crazy times, hey? So, you know, we've, we've been sitting on this um, EP for a while, or this EP, you know, process for it all started a fair while ago, so it's, um, you know, it sucks that we can't get out and play some shows to support it straight right away anyway, but um, very relieved to get it out there and... Um, Give it, give it, everyone a, a hear of it, yeah. Yeah, so it's out on March 27th, which is this week. Even still dropping brand new music, it's got to be uh, nerve-wracking, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, it always is, you know. But, you know, um, I think the new single, you know, we've, got, we've had some good feedback from that, so hopefully, you know, people will enjoy the rest of the EP as well, but... Yeah, but um, like I said, man, relieved to relieved to get it out there, and um, yeah, especially in these crazy times, man. I think some new music might be um, might be good for people as well. Yeah. So, are you ridiculously relieved that you wrapped this up before you guys basically, I mean, couldn't see each other? Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely, it's been wrapped up for a while. We just sort of been. Mm. I've just sort of been doing you know, most of the planning for the release and the PR stuff and got the video clips sorted out and that sort of thing. Mm. So we were, you know, we were due to that actually have the EP launch on Friday as well. But um, yeah. so that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll postpone that. The other bands are pretty keen to postpone and do it later on in the year. So um, all good. You know, as long as we're healthy, that's the main thing at the moment, hey? That is. But that is the key word there, postpone, not cancel. Absolutely, yep, that's the launch. The release is obviously going ahead, but um, yeah, the launch at the Bendigo Hotel down here in Melbourne um, will be will be happening eventually. <laughs> yes, yes, that's, yeah, a great, I keep seeing the word postpone pop up, and that makes me happier than the word cancel. Yeah, me too, bud. So, you've got this EP that's about to drop. What are we going to expect from this? There is a lot going on in the single we've heard. Is it I'm trying to find ways to describe it, and there's a lot of bands that come to mind, but how do you describe what we're going to hear? Oh, I love that you can't describe it. That's, um, <laughs> you know, can point it down to a certain thing. That's what we, that's what we aim to do. <laughs> we aim to, you know, we don't try to sound like anyone. We just put mm. all our top 10 influences in, into the writing blender and see what comes out, you know. But, mm. um, I think the latest thing, the, the latest thing will probably has, that's pretty much just about everything that we do. Um, you know, it's pretty, a lot of groove, bit of thrash, bit of, a lot of melody, and, um, you know, and Dan, our singer, can, he can bloody do everything, man. He can do yeah. the cleans, the, the, the raspy cleans, and all the growls too. So I think he's probably, he's, he's probably the one to look out for on, on this EP, to be honest. His vocals have been just absolutely amazing, man. I was wondering if that was one person. That is truly impressive. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, it's all him. I've um, been for uh, backing vocals here and there, but mm. yeah, ninety-five percent of it's all it's him, man. He's um, he's a very talented singer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to listen back now. I'm tr- yeah, I'm trying to think of it. I'm gonna have to listen to it again. That's fantastic. Cool, man. It's cool. So, I mean, it, it seems at the moment that artists have a hell of a lot of downtime, and I know you're just dropping a new EP this week but are you guys looking to the future and going we have all this time on our hands let's get some uh, creative creative influences rolling and get some writing done absolutely man you know, you know the one positive thing out of all this craziness is there's going to be a lot of new music coming out next year I reckon yes <laughs> um, I think yeah most of the bears are kind of funked down and funny like literally five minutes ago my, um, my guitarist just um, you know sent me an audio message of his latest uh, three riffs that he's just written. So, <laughs> so it's, all, it's already started. <laughs> Beautiful. That is exactly what we want to hear. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Um, we haven't got much else to do, so let's write it. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. If nothing else, 2021 or whenever the, this craziness has subsided, it will be an amazing time for releases. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I mean, an EP and an album in the same year, who knows? Like, Armored Earth could do hey, anything, to be honest, apart from tour. Uh, yeah, that's it, man. That's it. Like, um, you know, we've already started writing this, like, oh, there's probably. Yeah, we've got our song banks, you know, um, you know, pretty filled up, you know. There's a lot of songs that um, haven't really seen the light of day yet, play a few of them live, so there's always those that sort of fall back on as well, like most fans probably do. But, um, yeah, no, it'll be a, a lot of writing. Um, yeah, we're going to be very small for new music next year for sure. That is definitely uh, hopeful, to say the least, keeping the hope alive. Absolutely, that's what we need to do at the moment. Yes, absolutely. Uh, all right, I will say again, the EP Empire is out March 27th. Where are we dropping this EP? All right, man, so it should be up on uh, all, pretty much all stream, all major streaming services, I think. Um, it, it, you know, we just put it up through CD Baby, so that's, um, mm. that covers most of the platforms, I reckon. Um, iTunes, um, we might throw it up on Bandcamp, um, the physical CDs, um, for, that were due today or tomorrow have been held up due to this old bloody coronavirus. So luckily we don't need it for launch tomorrow night, but, um, yeah. hopefully in a few weeks, um, uh, you know, for the old schools out there, we'll, um, you know, we'll have some, uh, we'll have some hard copies as well, man. Very nice. Uh, and where can we find you guys? You guys are on basically every media platform there is these days. Yeah, man. Facebook and Instagram, the main two. Uh, we do have a Twitter account, but I haven't used it for about three years. But, yeah. uh, so maybe just yeah. maybe just jump on the Facebook page and the Instagram and give us a like and a follow. Absolutely. I love it. All right, man. Uh, one question we ask every band member. Yeah. Uh, is you, if you had all the power in the world to tour with anybody, past or present, who would it be? Oh, bloody hell, mate! That's a good question. Yeah, it's a good one, uh, isn't it? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Just, I'm gonna go in the limb through the limb here, and I'm gonna say Seven Dust because they're probably one of my favourite bands, oh, and yeah? I met the dude on their last tour at um, Heartbreaker after the Melbourne show, and they were absolute legend so I'll go with that brilliant I haven't listened to those guys in a while I should do that tonight that's, yeah oh, they still awesome man still awesome <laughs> that's fantastic it's fantastic when a band uh, you know is passionate about their stuff but obviously still has their favourites it's brilliant absolutely man alright man I am almost out of questions I, it has been fantastic to talk to you mate uh, legend man appreciate it great to chat to you bud Oh, Absolutely. Uh, I'll for it, yeah. All right. Thanks very much, mate. Uh, stay safe out there. Have a good night. You too, Fraser. Cheers, man.